AD, I think you started one for four from the field in a couple shots, kind of getting used to Porzingis' length, and from that point on, it barely missed for the rest of the night. Where where have you found and continue to build on this rhythm on the offensive side of the court? Uh, just staying locked in. Um, you know, our our team is is locked in right now. Um, we're very focused on both sides of the ball. You know, we let it slip away in the fourth a little bit, but um, overall, you know, we're just trying to make up ground um, and taking one game at a time. You know, I told the guys it's a huge test for us um, coming off a good win in Milwaukee. You know, we can't get complacent, can't get comfortable. Um, you know, coming in, it's a good team. You know, they've been struggling as of late, but you know, they're a good team. And, uh, you know, we were able to come out with a victory. The paint scoring has been consistent for you and, and the efficiency in there. Has that helped you with the rhythm on your at the jump shot, the threes, free throw line? It seems like that's that's come along as well. Yeah, I mean, seeing the ball go in, um, always helps with rhythm, rhythm, uh, rhythm. and uh, just being confident in my shots, you know, from the line, uh, from the three, um, you know, no matter what it is, you know, I'm always confident in every shot that I take, and uh, like I say, it's, to, it's the rest of the guys that put me in a you know, position to be successful. AD, I don't want to get too cute here and suggest there was some sort of flip uh, switch that was flipped eight or nine games ago, but, like, how do you explain this dominant stretch was there anything that you put into it off the court that's contributing to this is is this cohesion with the current group of guys is your body feeling good like what's going on uh, <coughs> excuse me um combination of all uh body feels great um you know in a gym working on my game you know we're coming together you know collectively as a unit um so everything is is, is going well for us right now um, guys are shooting the ball well. Uh, guys are communicating on defense. You know, we're, we're doing it all as a group. So, um, but for me, it's just just being locked in. You know, staying with a mindset of being aggressive, um, not taking the game off, and coming out with a mindset of, of dominating. You know, whatever it is I got to do to help the team win, you know, whether that's scoring, rebounding, blocking shots, you know, whatever it is, uh, I try to do my part. It is there a, is there a moment or a, a point in a game like tonight where it's like you you know what your numbers are? Is there a certain point where it's like oh it's thirty or oh it's forty? Like no, I have guys on the bench that you know is telling me Juan Juan is really the catalyst of, of the group of letting guys know like, oh you need one more rebound for a double double you need you know you got fifty go get six like so. Uh, them guys are telling me, but also, um, you know, me being elite for for a while, I don't want to go out and, you know, force anything. You know, I just play within the scheme, within the game, and, you know, whatever happens, happens. So, um, but no, it's not really a time where, you know, I, I look up and say, oh, well, I have this. You know, usually the guys tell me. AD, um, you told us at the beginning of the year your biggest goal was to stay healthy, and obviously anything you can do this year, rest on that. But... You know, obviously, you ha you're hearing chance of MVP. There are a lot of people talking about the stretch. Have your goals shifted at all, or, or is there a goal that you feel like is Winning maybe coming more? Winning championship. That's it. You know, uh, if your mindset is going on winning championship, the rest will take care of itself. It's always been my thought. Uh, you know, I put the team first over any individual awards or accolades, you know, um, that comes with it. So, you know, we continue to do what we do, win basketball games, and the rest will take care of so. itself. Is there a realization that for that goal to happen, the team success, you need to be playing at this level? Um, yes. Um, now, I'm getting 50 every night, who knows? But, uh, you know, just being dominant, just keeping uh, my mindset where it is. And, you know, it's going to be games where, you know, Russ have a big night, Brian have a big night, you know, one of Lonnie. You know, Austin, whoever, you know, it doesn't, I mean, you guys know me. I mean, that doesn't matter as long as we get the win. Um, you know, I'm fine. Last two. AD, um, you know, there's a lot of people saying that this is your best basketball, maybe second best basketball compared to bubble AD. Uh, watch me in New Orleans? Uh, I mean, obviously, but I mean, here, here with LA, right? I mean, might be four. Uh, I mean, like at that time, right before the bubble, um, and then at the bubble, obviously, 
your team was playing like we can win every game. I mean, like, where do you think um, your mentality as a team's mentality is right now, even after a rough start? I mean, our mentality is always we can win every game. Um, you know, we never come in there like we're going to lose. Uh, you know, the games might be tougher than others. Um, but, you know, we always come in with the mindset that we, we have to win. Um, you know, we put ourselves in a, in a hole. You know, we're making up ground, but we got to continue to come out and take it a game at a time. You know, um, took care of Milwaukee, took care of uh, D.C. You know, our next focus is on Cleveland um, and going in with a mindset trying to get a win. You know, uh, it's, it's hard to win on the road. You know, it's hard to win the league. Um, and we know that. Um, but we got guys who just come out and compete every night and, um, you know, follow the game plan and let the rest take care of itself. Got one? Time for one more? Cool.